Alright. Final part. Okay, we're taking the so, yeah. Um Besides Mass Effect 3, all I've been playing is I played a bit of Borderlands 2 and the new DLC for it. I haven't finished it. Um it's weird because like I played it co-op with my friends like through the campaign and then when I went to play the DLC I was playing by myself and I was like I'm just not feeling it. It's, it's really only fun when I'm playing with friends. I don't I don't prefer to play it alone like Mass Effect so. Or well Mass Effect's even for a game, but it's like I also play co-op and I don't like play with my friends like that, so. See there's like the whole issue of like the whole loot and like people being loot to play in a public game. I was like, yeah, I'll just not play in a public game, so so, uh, yeah. Besides Borderlands 2, um, which I made like a golden chess video because I got one of the shift codes that they put out on, or Gearbox put up on their Facebook page, so there's that. Um, besides Borderlands 2, there's Neil 6. I enjoyed it. I really liked it. It's pretty, I, yeah. I'm not one of the people that thinks it's a terrible game, or the worst in the series, or the end of Resident Evil, or all the crazy dashing stuff we're saying about it. Cause to me, it's like 5 is an action game. It completely, it had basically jumped the shark with 4, and like was not really more action-y, but 4 was still scary, and had like atmosphere. 5 did not deliver on that at all, it was not, there's like one scary part in the game, not too many jumpy scares. Or six is basically more scary than not only is it more scary than five, it also has like better action sequences and like better action parts than five. And like I really enjoyed the whole um, like multiple campaigns that like uh, overlap and have like characters that you meet up with them and you're like, okay, how did they get to this part in this part of the campaign? And then like you play through from their perspective to see what they were seeing during that part of the campaign. I really like the whole it's all like inner lap or overlapping and like inner inner weaving and stuff like that. Kinda like the um there's like a TV show called Boon Town and like it has a bunch of multiple characters that all like intersect and like cross over and stuff, so it's like that pretty much. Um but yeah, I I like that the way that, that did that happened. The only weird thing was like at the end of the Ada's campaign, like her epilogue cutscene thing, was like it had Jake and it was like basically just Jake. So I guess that was just like a tease of like the next game in the franchise. Because I, every other character in the finish it has like a a like after credits like CG cutscene thing, and like with Ada, it was just Jake in like the Middle East. It looked like so I was like, okay, is it like in the Middle East or something like that? So that was weird. But besides that, dot dot dot. Um, I like, enjoyed it and stuff. Or the only, yeah, the only other thing I'd say that I don't do really like was like the um, the lack of like gun customization. Cause that was always fun to do in the four and five. Like to like go to the gun dealer, buy your gun. And then customize it where they strip that out in this one. But instead, they implemented like the whole skill system as you can get skills to basically uh, be more effective against different enemy types in the campaigns. So that was interesting how they did that. Um, yeah, overall, I'd, I'd recommend it. I'd say it's good. Better than 5 for sure. 4 to me is like. It's really good, so it's like one of the best. So it's, I can't say it's good before. So, yeah. I think I think I think what kills it, as far as like not letting it be as good as four, is that the co-op is just. Well, actually, like in this one, the co-op works. It doesn't. It doesn't negate the like scariness or the atmosphere like it did in five. Like five, it was like daylight the whole time. And you were with someone, and it didn't really feel very scary. So this one, this one does a better job of that. Where you're, like each campaign has its distinct feel, and some parts are more scary than others. But there's always action going on, so it's, it's there's always 
I don't know. Verse 5 just felt like a like more of an action game all the way through. With very little t tension or suspense or just horror, so. Or six just nails it as far as like as as far as like action and like just better like horror suspense intention. So yeah, besides those two games, I haven't been playing anything else that's not Mass Effect. So oh, actually, Gunganeer, I finished that and I enjoyed it. But uh, after I finished it, I went back to playing Final Fantasy Tactics on the uh, the War of the Lions on PSP. So it basically just um, that one word I keep forgetting. <laughs> it just uh, cements the fact that I like turn-based strategy RPGs more than non-turn-based ones. Because Gangineer is turn-based, but it's weird with like the whole time element and stuff. Well, it's not weird; it's just unorthodox. It's it's an interesting take on the genre. It's worth picking up and playing if you're a fan of the genre and you like these types of games. Because I, I did enjoy it, and I like what they did with the ending where it was like a a cu culmination of your decisions and like that basically decided what the outcome was as opposed to you being able to choose the outcome, which is kind of interesting because I kind of wish Mass Effect did that where it's like it took like whatever your decisions were and then based on that like here's what happens. Kind of like the Witcher, where it's like you do stuff and you don't know how it's going to affect things, and then that's how it plays out. Like you're not, you're not like 100% sure. Okay, this is good or this is bad. So that's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it, though, because I was going to wait for Pai to get one to get like Dishonored, XCOM, and Sleeping Dogs, but I'm just going to wait until Black Friday to see if I can get them all for cheap, because. If I, get, if I too get one, that's like 120 bucks for three games, whereas I could probably get them all for like maybe as low as 30, which is less than 120. So I'll just hold out for a sale or something, because I'm just playing my strike right now, so there's no real point to even bother, because I'd just be playing that and even if I did get them. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the video. And I know it was all over the place in that last video with like the whole oh my switch is it's so good and here's what I like about it since the update or whatever. But like the main points were basically it's uh it's old as new again, it's still fun, challenges out a lot, and because of the challenges I'm playing characters and weapons that I haven't played in months and finding new dynamics or depth in in them in the gameplay systems. And the adding of the new New uh, faction of the collectors and enemy types of the bombers and dragoons really helps with the uh, making what was starting to become stall nice and fresh again. I'm kind of not sure where I, where I stand on the, like the whole weekly update thing. Like, part of me is like I'm glad that they're adding it like week by week just to like have something to look forward to. Whereas part of me is like, yo, I kind of wish that they had like. It all is on <laughs> at once just to like start unlocking it. So, anyway. so I guess the challenges were there though. That's like a nice long term goal. So. Cause some of them are gonna take a while. And then some of them are gonna like require me to like go above and beyond what I've been doing. Cause like the Nomad one, where I have to actually play on gold. <sighs> Not looking forward to that. I think I might do some sort of like commentary series on that when I try to do that. I, wanted, I think I'll try to do it in November before a bunch of new people start playing in December. Because that would be preferred. Or like after Christmas when a bunch of people start playing a figure or something. So that'd be nice. But uh, that's what this, this much channel is taking. Uh, if you're leaving comments or whatever, you know, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching. Have fun with the game. If the haters, Master 3 is still playing it, I will be continuing to play it because, I mean, is anything else really coming close? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, it's still pretty close, but it's not better, so. Okay, that's it. Until next video. Well, that's it for Shadow Tank for this month, and until the, um, 
until the next video. Can you hear you from me? I know. So, uh, okay, first up, one last thing. I, I kind of forgot to like, keep saying this in my videos, but like, have fun playing whatever you're playing. Like, you guys what other people think. Like, have fun playing Assassin's Creed 3 or Halo 4. Or, uh, if you're still playing like Dishonored or XCOM or Borderlands or Resident Evil 6 or um, anything else that came out that I don't play that I'm doing. Or Call of Duty, which comes out soon as well, which I'm skipping over for the first time in a long time. So, yeah. That's it again for this video and uh, later and stuff. Thanks for watching.